Liposomes. Does the liposomal product you might be buying or selling to your client actually have any liposomes in them? Sometimes they might not. If you have a microscope, you can take a look. And that's what we're going to do in this segment of exploring the microcosm. <music> Hi, I'm Steve at Biomedics. Before I get started, if you are watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. And if you've landed on this video visiting a social media page, please follow us. So a while back, I had a request from someone that wanted to look at the liposomes in the liposomal glutathione. I checked it out, and there wasn't a liposome to be found in the product at all. So I did a video showing them that product, along with a product that I had tested years before for a manufacturer that I knew had good liposomes. Let's take a look. Okay, we're um, going to be looking for liposomes in this product here. Here's your product. I've got two slides set up. I've got the microscope here. I did shake it up. I'll shake it up again. And I'll stick a pipette down in there. And I will get a little bit for a sample. And I'll transfer it to the slide right here. One little drop. And... Um, I'll put a cover slip on that. And that's pretty thick, so it's going to go all the way out to the edges of the cover slip. So I'll take a Kim wipe and I'll just lay it on the slide and I'll just touch the edge of the cover slip to get that liquid material so it's not dripping out. So here's um, your slide. I have another product that was in the refrigerator. Uh, this was from I did some work for them uh, a while back. This is uh, this expired in 2017. I'll shake that up. It's a very different consistency. This is almost like milky, where the product that I just did was more like clear, like water. So I'll put one drop there. I'll put the cover slip on it. And I will you know, put the Kim wipe down and get that liquid off the edges. Okay, so here's your slide, this product. Now I'm going to show you, I've got a 47 inch screen and I'm going to turn the camera to the screen. And there we are. Now right in the middle there, um, there's a little 10 micron sizing uh, line. Let me just zoom out again now. Because we're recording on the uh, from the TV, there's a little pattern that might be showing up. But when I first looked at the product, there was some floating material here. And um, nothing that I would say is our liposomes. Now this is a 40X non-oil objective. So I usually put things up on here first just to check it out. But as I pan along, that may be a liposome right there, but it's not moving, so maybe it is not. But there is debris. See this debris right here? I'll zoom in on that. I guess I don't need to zoom in on it. I just look at the camera here. So anyway, I saw this, I thought, where are the liposomes? So that's when I pulled out the other product in the refrigerator. So what we'll do now is take that product. I'll take your product off. This is the product. I'll put that product up. And um, focus. And now we'll look at the monitor. Let me just back out a little bit. 
<clears throat> so that was a thick sample. A lot of material here. And it's moving pretty well. I could have flattened that out a little bit. But let's zoom in. Now those, I would say, are liposomes. They're round beads, uh, various sizes. You've got some pretty large ones, almost 10 micron, even larger than that, to little small ones. If we were to, oh, look at the little teeny ones that are passing, maybe 500 nanometers. Now, if I took the slide and if I smushed it down a little bit and got more of the liquid out, um, we can get a scene that where those liposomes would just sort of be stopped. In fact, I'm going to pull the slide off and I'm going to squish it. So I pretty well smushed it. Liposomes are still intact. And um, anyway, that's it. I will get this video online so you can take a look at it. And um, as far as I can tell, uh, the product right here, uh, I don't think there's any liposomes in it. If you have a microscope, you can put it to use for far more than you might think. One time I had a bottle of colloidal silver that looked like it had some contaminants in it. And when I looked at it under the scope, I found some live bacteria. I sent the video to the manufacturer. They didn't believe me, but I knew. And that was the last time I bought that particular product. Microscopes are cool. If you don't have one, or you want one that is as awesome as the ones we have here, visit us and check them out. They're everything you need if you want to explore the microcosm in us or that which is around us.